If you, like me, have quite the collection of analog video formats that you wish to transfer in whole or in part to digital, few options exist for transferring them over. You, of course, can use something like those cheap, generic, or almost generic, at least in quality and reliability, easy cap video capture devices that are sold anywhere and everywhere online for prices uh, in the sub ten dollar range shipped from China and elsewhere abroad higher quality and more reliable options do exist this is the ION video to PC HD this is a USB capture card of sorts much in the same vein as those easy cap devices but hopefully being of a more reputable and well-known brand name in comparison to EasyCapped and all those other companies that are ripping off the design. Includes PC software, Cyberlink PowerDirector 9, and Mac EasyCap software. You can see the claims of it being a high-definition digital video converter are prominently displayed and mentioned on the box, which is quite interesting considering that this will simply be recording and transferring Standard definition video through the composite or S-video inputs. Just a very small USB video converter. The owner's manual, or actually a quick start guide. And then removing this is the composite video cable CD with the aforementioned EasyCap capture software and CyberLink PowerDirector 9 and the video to PC driver which may be important depending on whether or not Windows actually has those drivers natively available. I'm currently bordering on the assumption of the touted high definition converter capabilities being of dubious value. If you flip to the back of the manual or at least one of the last pages that are in English you can see that it mentions here a video enhancement giving standard definition video files the look and feel of high definition through the use of upscaling and the, the steps mentioned to follow to enhance your video to HD like quality is to select it in the video timeline which I assume is using the included CyberLink PowerDirector software and then clicking fix enhance and enabling the video enhancement checkbox which will probably do little more than simply upscale the video and add some contrast and sharpening adjustments to make the video appear sharper. And there it is, three composite inputs, one for video and two for left and right stereo audio, as well as an S-video input, and a USB cable of sizable proportions and length. Device driver software was not successfully installed. No driver found for the audio device. Installation of the video to PC driver software has culminated. So I'll disconnect this and reconnect it. See if it results in a successful outcome. And it wants to restart the computer, but I believe it's working correctly now. Yes, it is. USB 2861 device. Well, in spite of my best efforts, my plans of using video capture software just wasn't panning out how I had planned for it to. The video was excessively and unacceptably glitchy, choppy, and stuttered numerous portions that were quite important to the video's intelligibility. So here goes take two, the simple but reliable way, using just a camcorder pointed at the computer and its screen. I offer you my apologies in advance if anything happens to be out of frame, but I'm doing the best that I can given the circumstances and the screen capture software's refusal to play nice, nicely with this uh, laptop. Instructions tell us to click the capture tab at the top and it should initialize the device, which you just see black on the screen, but I'm pretty sure I need to turn the... yes, that was the key. VCR is now on, it's receiving input from the VCR and this does offer live audio previewing something that so many video editors lack when capturing from either a DV source or anything, any sort of video source live there's no way for you to preview it in real time 
short of recording it and then playing it back. So if you have an audio problem, you won't know until you're finished recording, getting ready to edit it. So I have everything set up here. Only thing I did need to configure, as per my liking and most video editors' preference to deal with uh, lossless video or the highest quality video until the final rendering stage, I clicked the profile button down here, which was initially set to MPEG-2, but that won't garner the best quality. I'll go ahead and put this in the machine, and it'll automatically begin playing on the computer. I should probably begin the recording. Well, that's a DVD preview, or I should say a commercial for DVDs, which were just approaching their heyday. It's now asking me to name the captured file after stopping the video capture. Just leave it to its default. Okay, video is now imported into the timeline, and you actually need to click the video clip. There's a number of different settings and adjustments that you can make to the video, but they don't actually display or make themselves known until you click the clip. And once you do that, and once after you're selecting the clip, you have access to all these different settings. And it says, according to the manual, to upscale the video to HD-like quality to press the Fix Enhance button and of course it's now during a portion of the video where there's nothing on the screen so I'll skip ahead here and see how it compares actually zoom the camera in and I'll let you compare for yourself how the video compares this is with video enhancement turned off that's with it turned on that's turned off, that's turned on. This one should provide a clearer picture, pardon the pun, since it's some text here on the screen which normally on VHS tapes, depending on the size, is very difficult to read. In fact, I'll zoom in even more before this camera falls out of focus and now switch off the video enhancement. I am noticing that the video is becoming clearer. If I'd have to guess, I'd say it's adding some sort of sharpening as well as contrast adjustment to make the picture appear sharper than it really is. Although, I find the claims of it upscaling and offering HD-like quality a bit far-fetched. What I don't like about this software is what happens every time you click the video clip to select it, just automatically goes to this screen here that allows you to crop or adjust the image as it is displayed on the screen. Wish there was a way to disable that so that I could select it without having this pop up all the time. I'll now render this to a usable file format and let you be the judge and you'll be able to watch it directly without seeing it through this camcorder's lens. It's showtime. Showtime. It's showtime. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. DVD. See it. Buy it. Own it. Watch it once. Watch it twice. Spend hours watching extras beyond the movie and enter the world of stars and directors and the magic they make. Build a collection for the family. With over 9,000 movies to own, it's the most convenient way to watch a movie. DVD. Why AOL? Well, we used to be with one of those other internet services, but everything was so complicated, only a child could understand it. Bobby. Bobby. Where's my download manager again? But now, with AOL, if I have a problem, I just call their 24-hour customer service. They help me with everything. It's so easy. So there were your direct video samples taken from a regular analog VHS tape. And of course, quality is a very subjective thing because it all depends on the video source and not so much on the 
actual device itself that you're using to capture the video with. Of course, that's not mentioning or taking into consideration the really cheap, questionable video converters and those generic uh, off-brand versions of the EasyCap capture devices that do some very strange things to your video, like play with the contrast and brightness and gain and things like that. I find the claims of this being a video to PC HD high definition digital video converter to be little more than an attempt to deceive, mislead, and misrepresent the product that's being sold. Oh sure, if you really want to, you can use the included software and then upscale it to high definition. I find this mention of this being a high definition digital video converter erroneous and unnecessary considering that's just a standard definition video capture device that relies upon a video enhancement gimmick uh, and the video editing software just to sharpen and adjust the contrast to give the illusion of a HD like video quality as they claim in this manual it's not a high definition video converter at all it just relies on software to do the job for it this is standard definition video there's no way you'll be able to make it high definition you might be able to fool yourself and others into believing it's HD video if you're just looking at the numbers the resolution but if anyone with a good pair of eyes takes a look at the video they'll know right away it's not a high definition source